We have the biggest number in the first row and calculate from right to left, starting with the units. But, oh dear, we cannot subtract 8 from 3. Yes, you know it. We just borrow one of the tens. The tens are now only 5, but our units are 13. Remember that we took 10 units. Okay, our new number is now 13 in the units. 13 minus 8 is 5. We now start subtracting the tens, and we can subtract 5 from 5, which leaves 0. We move next to the hundreds. We see that again, we cannot subtract 1 from 0. So we go borrow from the thousands. The thousands remain now with 4, but the new number in the hundreds is now 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. We write the comma in front of the hundreds place value. Now we subtract the thousands. And 4 minus 2 is 2. The difference between the numbers is 4,905 times. Viewers and learners, it was so nice to have your attention for this lesson. Thank you. And from the Hardop Educational Multimedia Project, we wish you success in your mathematics studies. Before we go, we'll just recap. We have seen that there are three main units of mass, namely tons, the biggest, which is abbreviated at T, kilograms is most often used in daily life and it's written shortly as kg, and grams is the smallest, it is written as g. Each of these units is a thousand times heavier than the other before. There are 1,000 grams in kilogram and 1,000 kilograms in one ton. Remember that when we compare measurements, we must make sure to use the same units. This means that sometimes we must convert everything to a smaller unit before we do calculations. The four main operations used in mass are division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Yes, of course. Come. Thank you, viewers, for watching. Bye. Stop, 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 st